Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Magic the Harvesting. My name is Michael Batman Guy and today I'm on top of the world! Woo! What a view. We can even see part of our uh, little village down there. And uh, if we look carefully the chicken machine should be uh, blinking away. I saw it blink earlier. It is working. It is, is uh, loaded from this distance. Anyways, our bounding block Bounding block, that's an interesting name. Does it say the right one on the base? There we go, wind turbine. There we go, this is the only important thing. The wind turbine, producing lots and lots of power, 480 joules per tick, to be exact. Pumping it all into this basic energy cube. And, as you may recall, I was struggling to get uh, the logistical sorters to pump energy tablets in and out of the energy cube much like I had got successfully set up down below in the flower pot. It turns out that you're supposed to, or I say supposed to, there's a, I call it a bug or a feature or whatnot, that as of this version, they're only supposed to interact with the top and the bottom of the energy cube. Trans the logistical transporters, pipes, as it were, only work top and the bottom. And uh, this does in fact work. I can prove it to you. We'll put an empty one here. It immediately gets pulled out and you goes around dark green because it's unenergized. Into the cube. There it is. Charge that sucker up. And then in a moment, down it goes. It still looks dark green because we're in a cloud, but it should be bright green. I tried to cover everything up with more cloud so you wouldn't quite see it. You can still see it. It's translucent, but it's not clear. So it should be, you know, as we drift off here, just kind of a gray color there. Not, not sticking out too bad. I don't want to be a sore thumb up here in the sky. And there we go. More uh, energy tablets. That's great. Let's do another one. And it goes. And connects here but does not go in here it has to go up to the top um, um, I presume I could pump it in the bottom and out the top I don't know I didn't test that but I got this to work why it works down there then I have no idea but it does mean I am absolutely not going to touch that setup for fear of breaking something uh, what we are going to do however is eventually I want to fill this with more energy tablets just kind of have this I'll set up because once we start using more energy up down here, I'm okay. The boots took most of the uh, most of the hit there. Negates fall damage. Ha ha ha! No damage for you. So this guy's nice. You know, 176, and it's it's not it's not nothing. This is sun true. So I th I think it's a consistent issue with this version that everything says the out is actually double the maximum production. Of this so these are in fact producing 50 joules per tick. Their little capacitor here stores 96,000. Just doesn't actually say that's what we get. 50. 50 is 100 plus 176, 276. But now we have a way to get uh, 480, sort of, in indirectly. Kind of a, a pause here. I don't know how quickly these drain out, but as you can see, we've got a backlog of energy now. We've filled up the basic energy cube because this one is full and these things are all full and they're not running. We're out. We're empty. We're done. We have, actually, oh, yep, we have in fact finished everything. There we go. Way more osmium than we know what to do with. No, I know exactly what to do with it. Put it in a drawer. That's what drawers are for. Yeah, this this thing works just fine. It's pulling out of the, the sides. I don't know, is this like somehow sideways? Did I trick? the energy cube because I had a chest there and then I replaced it with the chest. I don't know. I tried to duplicate that, in fact. 
up there. I tried to put a chest down and then take it out and put the energy cube in place and then it, it, it still didn't work. It hates me up there. I don't know. Um, maybe because it's right underneath like this block, the rainbow eucalyptus slab throws it off. Maybe because it's right next to vertical piece of horizontal universal cable. I don't know. Maybe it's the lever. Could be any number of things. Could be any number of things. But we're not going to touch it. We're going to mess with uh, this setup here. I'm actually going to remove the extra clutter here. Um, you are an empty chest. You are an empty chest. And you are handy, but not necessary. And you... Um, yeah, I guess I can... Clear that. Perfect. I'll just put everything away. Like so. It's time to step up our game here. We need to get to that old clipboard item, mechanism or tripling. Uh, very simple. We need to add two more uh, machines to our line here. And they are, let's see if I can find them, the crusher, which I guess we already have. Look, it's a, it's a crusher. Well, that was easy. All right. And what was the other one? Uh, purification chamber. I believe that's the one. Well, that's, that's, that's not this, right? That's enrichment chamber, right? We need the purification chamber. Should be... An advanced machine capable of processing ores into three clumps, serving as the initial stage of 300% ore processing. There we go. So let's get that guy down. We need more enriched alloy. An advanced control circuit. Ooh, advanced. It's a uh, enriched alloy and basic control circuit. Lots of advanced alloys. All right, so you guys are not done. In fact, I'm going to take a stack of redstone because I can. and enrich that so that we can make lots and lots of these uh, alloy guys. Where do they show up on the on the list here? Right down there. Okay, so we're gonna need that which is iron and redstone and we're gonna need these which are osmium and redstone so it's a good thing I have a stack of osmium, a stack of iron And we'll go ahead and use both of these. Just get this process started. Uh, can we get four? Good. Two for you. And two for you. There we go. And that'll, uh, 200, that'll do 20 of these. So we're going to need more. And then we also need a uh, good old steel casing. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm not bad for steel. Could use more. That's going to require more iron processing and carbon. But, uh, eh, you know. I'll grab like nine of them. Oh, and a few more of these. I think a few spare. There we go. That'll serve as our base of operations for the... I think he's moving on me. Hold still. Purification chamber. Ah, all right, and we need two osmium ingots all by themselves. And four enriched alloys. Five, six, seven, eight enriched alloys and two basic control circuits. Okay. How are we doing here? Eight enriched alloy. Eight basic control circuits. We need. Oh, I need like one more just raw osmium ingot. All right. So we take two of those, and we enrich them with the enriched alloy to make the advanced 
condition. All right. Nope. You go around the outside. And a little more osmium for color. And... What did... That's not a steel casing. That's an enrichment chamber. Okay, purification chamber requires the enrichment chamber. Great, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna need four redstone, four iron, and two basics. Or this one is a steel casing, yes? Okay, good. That one's a steel casing. Let's go get four redstone, two iron, and two basic control circuits then. Uh, da, da, da. Four redstone. One, two, three, four. Two iron. Two basic control circuits. Got those. So we'll just go over here and whip up. Uh, not the energy smelter. Watch my chamber. Bam! Ah. Oh, I missed. Okay, swap that. There we go, purification chamber. Excellent. Okay, so now this guy has to lead into... Mm, yeah, we can't have you there. Mm, can't have you there either. We want... I think I'm going to switch these. You're not doing anything, right? Yeah. Just get out of there. Purification chamber here. Not the legit. Um, the crusher there. And energize smelter on this side. Oh, go away, logistical sorter. I don't need you yet. So we're gonna switch all this around. There. Pop down the finished product chest. Right there. Alright, so you're going to. Um, output that side, input this side. Okay. And same with you. Output that side, input this side. Crusher. Output on the left, input on the right, eject on. How are we doing? We need more redstones. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get lots of materials while we're waiting. You're done. And now to configure you, we're gonna say output on this side, input on that side, and energy is on the back. Is that the back? Do I have these all wrong? These are all like... Energy on the back. Yeah, not the bottom. Like so. Uh, you know, eventually. I'll, I'll move these when they're done and wire it all up proper. Uh, but the purification chamber needs a little something something. Got this purple guy here. We need oxygen. That's where the extra comes in, and I might have that... Actually, I might have this on the side, and input is just on the top. Right, because then we can stick... There's our hopper. Hopper. Okay. That goes in there. And let's go ahead and at least get that down. You... Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that guy eventually. Not important for now. How are we going to get oxygen there. Well, we need to make it, and I think I'm gonna do that uh, upstairs. How do we make oxygen? Uh, well, those of you who remember chemistry class will know that oxygen is found in water. Oh, I thought I just saw it. What do we condensate? That's the opposite. So if we take water and run it through an electrolysis process, we can split it into its basic chemical components, oxygen and hydrogen, H2O. Electrolytic separator, that's the thing. All right, redstone, iron, enriched alloy, easy peasy. 
Electrolytic core. Mmm, what's that? Lots of enriched alloys. Osmium dust, gold dust, iron dust. Oh great, I need iron dust. Okay, got osmium dust, got gold dust. How do I get iron dust? Uh, I could crush an iron ingot. That would work. Just need one. So let's go to the crusher. Let's turn eject off so that we don't accidentally start smelting this up. Smash it. Actually, I don't think it would because it would try to go to the enrichment chamber. Enrichment chamber can't do anything to the dust. Dust goes straight to smelting. All right. So there we have that. That goes on that side. That there and there. We need a whole bunch more of these guys. Well, eventually. This is what we really want right now. Da, 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 da. Draw us a score. Okay, and we're gonna need. And that go again. The ghost here. That, and that. Um, and that. And iron and redstone. Gadget. Just, just have some on my person while we're doing all this. Was it four redstone? Two iron? No! There we go, it's a machine. It's gotta be made of mostly metal. That makes sense. The electrolytic separator. Alright, and of course to grab the water and put it into the electrolytic separator. I mean, you could do it with buckets, I suppose, by hand. That would be a pain. Let's just get a pump. So that steel casing, yeah, that's gonna come in handy. Enriched alloy, bucket, and osmium. Alright, uh, steel casing. Enriched alloy. Uh, I'm sure I've got a bucket to spare, don't we? Yeah. We, we can go down to just, just two buckets. It's for a good cause. Zing! There we go. Electric pump. Alright, now we just need... I wonder if the electric pump would work on the sink thing here. Hmm. Probably not. Alright, so down... Wait, let me see here. We just went, like, straight up here. Boop. Right through there. And now I can just fly right through there. Ha ha There. That's where we will pump our... oxygen down, maybe... Which side is the oxygen? This is... I have no idea. Let's get some... cable to this thing. Power it up. No, don't put more cable on the front. Okay, we have energy. We have... I better get out one of those buckets. Or uh, both of them, actually. Here's what we're gonna do. Some water. Set up a source that we will block off. Um, like. Hmm. I need a couple more. Ha! There we go. So work. Proof of concept here. Water there. And put the pump here. And put the pump. Where'd it go? Here. So we can send cable that way. You have power. Yes. Alright. Fill the bucket. <sighs> Boom. It fills the bucket. And then bucket in here. We have water, and water is turning into hydrogen, 
and oxygen. Note that we have twice as much hydrogen as oxygen because it's H2O. Hooray! Chemistry 101. All right. Uh, yeah, so I believe blue is hydrogen, red is oxygen. Uh, this is some cryptic formation on the side here, but we can pump it uh, out here and down. That way I might have to rearrange this so we can get the tubes uh, nice and even. But what do we carry oxygen in? Uh, that's not going to work in a universal cable or even... Actually, what it... These things. Basic logistical transporter. Oh no. You need something that is um, gas proof. Airtight, as it were. A basic pressurized tube. We're going to need some steel and some glass and another 20 minutes. So, uh, we're going to stop it here. We've got the machines all set up. It's just a matter of configuring them and hooking everything up in the right order. Uh, and then, of course, sending our materials over to be processed. So we'll take care of that next time. My name is Michael Batman Guy. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.